Hi, my name's Steve Travell from Make It In Music, and with this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the entire process in building your squeeze page, thank you page, and download page for your email capture system on your WordPress website. This is what we're gonna learn. First of all, I'm gonna go over again with a brief explanation of the squeeze page process. Then we're gonna head over to Seedprod and purchase and install their plugin, Coming Soon Page Pro, and that's available for only $29 or that's £25 in English money. Then we're going to show you how to build the squeeze page, thank you page and download page including connecting up to your Aweber account. And then after that we're going to show you some advanced uses for the plugin. So let's get started. First of all as I explained in a previous video selecting uh, the theme and the styling for your WordPress website can be quite a lengthy process. And one of the things that the system that we're gonna show you uh, with this video is that if you install this plugin, you can set up a email capture system straight away that will start working for you, collecting emails from your fans, distributing your EP or wherever it is you wanna give away while you're still working on your WordPress website. So by using this setup, you'll be up and running in no time while you've got time to think about really how you want to have your website and present yourself on the internet. It's a very flexible system and the plugin will also carry on to be very useful once you have your WordPress uh, site up and running. So let's have another quick rundown of the entire email capture process. First of all, you're gonna be building a squeeze page on your website. Now this can be an independent page in your website or it can even be the landing page or the home page. Your main objective here is to be funneling people through to this page, whether you do it from any other kind of social media that you might be using, such as Facebook or Twitter, or maybe even from encouraging fans to uh, visit the website from gigs that you're performing. So we feed in the fans and traffic to the squeeze page and what they have to do is submit their email address. Once they've submitted their email address, they'll be taken straight through to the thank you page that will explain that the fan needs to check their email. They need to check their email because what happens here is a double opt-in. They go to their email and within that email there's a link to confirm that they've agreed to join your mailing list. They then click that link in the email to confirm and then they're taken directly to what the download page is. Now the download page could be one of two things. It could be a page specifically built with a download link on it, or it actually could be a download link itself that will start automatically downloading the EP from the email. And once that process is all done, then they'll all end up on your email list, which enables you to access them and promote yourself at any time directly with an email. Let's take a quick look at a squeeze page constructed with the plugin that we recommend. This example of a squeeze page was constructed for the band Lemonwood. Now the reason it's a squeeze page is that there are no other distractions here on the page. All we're trying to do is to get the user to sign up and give their email address so they can get on with it and download the music. This is quite a simple thing to construct. It consists of the background image, the logo, some brief text with some social proof in there. There's a review and then the actual Aweber sign-up form itself. This is very simple to construct, and I'll be showing you how to build this exact squeeze page in a short moment. So I guess what we need to do now is get on with it and buy the plugin. You're probably watching this video on our website, so if we go over to our website here, you will see under the video, we have a link. If you click this link, and you'll get taken straight through to the Cprod website. Okay, so let's now go over to see pricing. And what we're going to do is buy the personal license. So we click here. And then we're going to enter all the information and buy the product. So we don't need to go for this. This is quite self-explanatory. I'll see you once all this process is finished. Okay, I've purchased the plugin and uh, that was quite a painless experience. And then as soon as you've actually clicked purchase, you get taken through to this page where we can now download the plugin. And then we're also given our license key. The license key is quite important. So we'll copy that. 
uh, because we need to use that once we've installed the plugin uh, to open it up so we're allowed to use it. Here we have a brief explanation of the terms, which is uh, you can have it installed on one site, you get one year of updates and you get one year support. And here's some links through to some helpful documentation. But the plugin is pretty simple to use. So let's get on and install the plugin into the WordPress website. OK, so here's the back end of yourgreatband.com and we're going to install the plugin by heading over to plugins and add new. Then upload plugin up here. And we're going to browse and find the plugin which I've placed on the desktop. Here it is, CProd Coming Soon Pro. We'll click that, open it and hit install. That's it, the plugin's installed, so we activate the plugin. And then we'll enter the license key, which I copied. Check license. There you go. That's it, the plugin's now installed and the license has been validated. You may now notice in the left hand column, Coming Soon Pro now appears here. So let's click that. Here we are on the first of two pages of parameters that we're going to use for setting up our squeeze pages. And mainly we're going to be using what's called here the coming soon mode. So let's put that into coming soon and hit save all changes. Now let's go into edit mode. First thing you're going to do is be presented with a whole series of themes that you can use straight off the cuff so you don't even have to rethink really about your layout straight away. So what we need to do is to pick a basic one here that we're going to use and work from there. Let's have a look through these. As you can see they're all pretty much the same, they've got all the parameters uh, displayed that you can use with the plugin. So let's just take this one for example or no or this one I like this one let's take this one so we're loading that one up that's our first basic theme and then we're taken through to our second page here we have all the parameters that are required for building the squeeze page and the cool thing here is that we can always check it on a mobile format as well within this editor so let's go back to desktop and the first thing we want to do now is to change the background image so we've got background settings here We'll click there and we'll choose an image that we wish to upload. Let's upload a file, select files, come down here, here's the image I want to use. Let's click that, save that and insert that into the post. It'll bring it up and it'll now show you the background image in place. Okay, so now let's get some of the content up on the page. Quite easy to do. We go over to content and we can see a parameter here for logo. So let's choose an image for our logo. Go to upload file again, select files and uh, the logo I have on the desktop. Where is it now? Lemonwood white logo. Here we go. Let's click that. Open. Let's insert that into the post. And there you go, we've got the logo on there. And now we need to uh, add some content here into these two sections. So I have some text that I've already prepared. So let's run back over here and copy some of this in. This is going to be the main text with the social proof. So I copy that. And I'm going to drop that down here into that section. Put that there. Let's hit save. And now we need to add the title into the title section. So we'll go back again. And we'll grab this. Copy that. Place this here in the headline area. There you go, now we'll save that. One of the things to note is that we're not stuck with the elements being in this order, like the logo, the title, and the text. If we scroll down, we have the ability to swap the sections.
So the design can be really, really flexible. As you can see, these are all the different components that can be used here. And then you can swap them around to how you would like your page to look. Anyway, let's put that back for now. So let's take a look at a few more parameters regarding the content area. What we need to do is to scroll down and we can see the section called content container. We have a few parameters here regarding the container. We can adjust its width, which is very cool. We can move it from anywhere we want. We have some set positions here, right center, left center. And then we also have the ability to put a background to the container. So if we do this, we can see by pressing this button, we have a color palette that we can use to change it. We put it on black, but we also have a depth of transparency here which is helpful because sometimes the, the text may not show up on certain kinds of images. So you can put just enough tint behind the content to make the text much more legible. Okay, well we don't need that right now, so I'm gonna switch that off. I'm gonna put this back to uh, center center and then show you this last one here. We have container animation, which is great because what we can do, we can attract people's attention by catching their eye with the content too. All very cool. I'll leave that off anyway. So I guess what we need to do now is uh, to connect all this up with Aweber so we can get our email form set up properly. So we go down to here to email form settings, click that, and now save subscribers to, now we go, we're going to select Aweber, and now we're going to configure Aweber. Now we're going to click authorize app. Then you have to fill in your Aweber sign-up details, which I've already done here, and then hit allow access. Then you're presented with an authorization code, so we're gonna copy that. Head back over here and insert the authorization code. Now we're gonna hit refresh lists. And now you can see that it's accessing the first of our lists that we have in our Aweber account. And as we only have one, there's only one displaying. Then we just say save and continue editing. Now let's go back to email form settings. And what we need to do is to display name as well. And the fact that this parameter is required. There you have the name and the email slots in your Aweber form. All we really like to do now is to change the uh, notify me to give me the music. And we do that by going over to customize text. So we roll down here, click customize text. We can fill in here, give me the music. And also gonna change this to first name. And the reason for doing that is that it makes the email sound a little bit more personal because this parameter here is auto filled into the emails that are sent out uh, to the users that sign up. Okay, so we'll save that. And now we need to add the text for the thank you page. So we go back again to email form settings and we can see we have a field here that needs to be filled in. This is the text that will appear on the thank you page. I have some I've prepared here. So I'm going to copy that from here. Paste that in there. Now, um, it's quite, quite wordy, but it has to be clear with what we're trying to get across here, that we want people to go and check their email straight away, 
click the link within their email to confirm it so that they can receive the EP. So there's a, a few instructions if they can't find their email that they need to check their spam filters or junk mail to do that. So we're going to put that in. That all looks good. And now I'm going to save that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to move on and create the download page. So the download page is going to be a freestanding page on its own outside of this um, plugin. So now we have to go uh, back into settings and create a page. So we go to add new. Oh yeah, before we do that, there is one more parameter that you need to change in your WordPress setup. You need to go down to settings and then go over to permalink. I'm going to right click this, open this in a new tab. And take a look at this. And you can see what we need to do is that we need to click this button here. So we can get your great band and then the post name here as the permalink settings. So let's just save that first. And now we can go back to here. And the first thing we need is we need to get the URL from the list settings in Aweber. So let's go over to there. And here we can see is the URL that Ian had created in the earlier video. And we just need this section here for now. So I'm going to take that, copy it, bring it over, add that as the page title, hit save draft. And now you can see we have the exact URL that Ian had set up over there in Aweber. Now the next thing we need to do is to create some content. So let's go into visual mode for that. And what we're going to do is say, uh, click the image below to start download. And then we're going to select an image that we're going to associate with the download. And let's upload a file, select file. And what we're going to use is the lemon wood sleeve that I've got here. So we're going to open that. And if we scroll this down, we're going to enter what is called a custom URL here. And for the moment, I'm going to put in yourgreatband.com. Make sure it's lined up for the center and insert that into the page. And I'm going to take this section here. I'm actually going to center, center that as well. Add a little bit of a space below it and then uh, open up another page for the media and add an extra item here. So open up this. I've opened this up in another tab. Click here, I'm going to select the files. I'm going to, I have a pre made zipped up file of the Lemonwood EP here, and I'm going to load that up into the media library. Okay, that's now there. If I hit edit, we need this URL here. I'm going to copy that. Go back to the add new page. Now I'm going to view this in text mode. Now if you look here, we can see ahref and the link that I put in, the yourgreatband.com, and we're going to swap that for the link of the download file. So I'm going to paste that in there. Then I'm going to hit publish. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to uh, right click here and open this in another tab. Check out the page and here we have it here. Look, click the image below to start download. Let's give it a click and see what happens. There you go. You can now download the file. Excellent. So all that's working fine. The next thing we need to do is that we need to take this URL because we need to exclude it so people can have access to this page to be able to download the free music. 
So what we need to do now is that we need to go to the settings and to come in soon pro and make some adjustments here. Let's scroll down. We're going to click this one here first disable and then we're going to hit exclude URLs. And then we're going to insert that URL there and hit save all changes. What that's done, like I said earlier, it's made sure that that one page which we, where you can download isn't covered up by the come in soon mode. This means it's accessible to anyone who clicks the link in the email that they get after signing up. So let's just check again and make sure we've saved all that, save all changes. So what we need to do now is to test the whole thing and see if it works. I've logged out of the back end of WordPress and we're looking at the front page of the website, which is now the squeeze page. I'm going to fill in the email. Let's see if the whole thing works. I'm going to use Ian's name here. And Ian Clifford demo at gmail.com and click give me the music. Let's see what happens. Okay, well, there's the thank you page with the instructions on what you need to do next. Thank you for signing up for Your Great Band's 4-Track EP. To get the download, you will need to confirm your email address, etc. So what we need to do now, head over to the mailbox and see that email arrive. There you go, there's the email. Let's open it up. Now there's the confirmation link. Let's give it a click. And there you go, you're taken through to the download page where we can click that and commence the download. So everything's working fine. Fantastic. Now there are a few other things that we need to show you. I've got a few examples here. The center section of the squeeze page is just as designable as any WordPress page. So you can insert videos. You can make it nice and simple if you like. You can have an image to the side with the text on the right. And you can even have a video background. This truly is a very flexible plugin. So far, we've shown you how to use this email capture plugin while you're building your website, meaning that you will have no access to any of the web pages that you're building. So you've got time to get your uh, your site sorted, get it looking really good. And at the same time, this will be capturing the emails of your fans straight away. Now, there is another mode to this plugin, which enables you to uh, use this exact same setup once you've got your website open and running. And where we basically, it will be just a designated squeeze page within all the pages of your website. So I've created another page called Free Music. Now the reason we've done that is that we can actually be using this name Free Music right from the off. So if you're creating any promotional material or any link, even in the mode that we have been using it so far, if you were to go to your band, yourgreatband.com slash free music, you'd get taken through to the squeeze page. But if we scroll down here, and change this mode to include URLs and we'll drop in free music as the URL and save that and now let's take a look at the website here the website will no longer have uh, the squeeze page on the front but the squeeze page will only be on free music Therefore, right from the beginning, you can start actually using that URL or the URL you wish to create to give away your uh, products or to create your squeeze page right from the off. If you have a look at how the page is without having uh, the squeeze page, this is just a blank page that I've created called Free Music. There's nothing on it. It's the plugin that will overlay the squeeze page that we've designed with the plugin onto just this one page, yourgreatband.com free music. But you need to always keep your coming soon mode active all the time for this, which means it's only active only on this URL. Include URLs and with the URL that you put in there. It'll look like this when you're in edit mode in on your own WordPress back end, but when you're looking at it from the public side here, which I'm showing you in a different browser, you can see that we have free music here in the URL and you can see the uh, 
the squeeze page. Well, that's about it. Coming up next, we have got uh, Ian uh, back with how to uh, create your first emails, automated send outs from your AWeber system. Thanks.